Good afternoon. Uh, what we're going to be making uh, today is some really simple cheese scones. Um, all I've got here is 225 grams of self-raising flour. I've got a little bit extra here just for dusting later on. I've got a pinch of salt that's going into my flour. Um, some cayenne pepper. I've got 55 grams of butter, which is really quite small, and I've chopped it up. Uh, that's been in a, in a fridge for a couple of minutes. And I've got 120 grams of cheese. I'm going to put 100 grams in and leave 20 for the top. So I'm going to get started. So in my flour, I'm going to put my salt, pinch of salt. I'm just using some rock salt that I've got in the house. A uh, touch of cayenne pepper, just add a bit of flavour, a bit of spice. I'm going to give that a little mix in. Then I'm just going to pop in my cold butter. The next method is called rubbing in. So I'm just going to rub the butter into the flour. I'm just using the, my fingertips. I'm just going to start breaking down the butter. If You can do it a little bit bigger, but it's going to take a little bit longer. If you use warm butter, this will melt very, very quickly. And you're going to end up with a really sticky, wet mix. So we're just going, using the fingertips, going nice and light to work the mix quite quickly. If you've got a food processor, you could pop this in and blitz it uh, very, very quickly. That, that'll work. I'm just working with what I've got. And as soon as I get to a sandy texture, I'm going to add my cheese and my milk to make it all. So I've just spent about five to six minutes rubbing in the butter into the flour. I've got the salt, the cayenne pepper in there. I'm going to add around 100 grams of my grated cheese. Give it a quick mix. The key to this is trying to keep it as cold as possible. Um, otherwise it, it's going to all melt and go quite sticky. So now I've got my cheese, my flour, my salt and my pepper. I've got 100 ml of uh, cold milk. I'm going to pour a little bit in and just bring it together. You don't want to overwork this mix, otherwise it will go really firm. Then I'm going to put the rest in. I'm just going to bring it together a little bit. Again, you don't want to squish it and start kneading it. It's not a bread. It's meant to be a scone to have quite a crumbly texture to it. And it's starting to come together when you squeeze it. Just going to add a splash more milk. And now you can see that's come together. Just going to put it onto my bench, which has been nicely cleaned. Then that's it. I've got a little extra flour for dusting if I need it. I've got a little bit of milk for glazing. I've got a knife. I've got a little bit of cheese for the top. And I've just got a baking sheet with some baking parchment on. A lot of recipes will tell you to roll it. I just find if you roll it, you tend to go a little bit too thin. So I'm just using my hands to try and get a nice even thickness. I'm looking for quite fat scones. Um, I haven't got a scone cutter or a cookie cutter or anything like that at home. So I'm just cutting around a glass. And you can see it's still nice and crumbly. That's just going to really make a nice soft scone.
I'm not cutting too deep because I don't want to damage my worktop. So I've got four scones there. I'm just going to bring this mix together. And again, I'm not going to knead it. I'm just bringing it together like that. Just cut round one more. So I've made six nice little scones there. Not going to waste any of it. That base just going to be for me to make sure it's nicely seasoned. That's my scones cut out. Then all I'm going to do, if you've got a pastry bush or something like that, use one of those. Again, I don't. So I'm just pouring a little bit of milk on. That's just going to help glaze it. You could use egg wash, you could use egg white, you could use um, egg yolk if you wanted to. I'm just using a little bit of milk. Small amount of cheese on the top. That's it, a small amount of cheese, probably be a bit. So that was the 20 grams we left aside. And now they're ready for the oven. I'm going to pop them in the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay, my scones have just come out of the oven. Uh, they're in the oven for 15 minutes, uh, about 180. And they've, they've cooked really nicely. They're really light and have got a nice colour on them. So a real nice, simple recipe. <clears throat> you can add to this, you can add a little bit more salt. You can add some herbs to it. You can add some chopped onions that you cook down and add that. Lots of different cheeses you can use for this. this is just a very standard basic recipe. Um, just a recap of what I did. 225 grams of self-raising flour. A little extra for dusting. I didn't actually use that because it was quite a dry mix. A pinch of salt and a pinch of cayenne. Again, you can add herbs or spices to it. 55 grams of butter. A good tip for this, you can either grate it and put it back into the fridge or freezer or I chopped it really small, so it just incorporates a lot quicker. Um, 120 grams of cheddar. I put 100 grams into the mix and I just put 20 grams on the top. And I used probably just over 100 mils, probably 105 mils, but it really depends how much you work the flour, how warm your hands are. The more you mix it, the more you uh, rub it in, the more you have your hands in the flour, the hotter it will get and the stickier it will get and the less milk you'll need. All right, um, just to recap on the method, we mixed the flour, the salt, the cayenne, we added the butter and we rubbed it in, using our fingertips, keeping our fingers out of the flour, just so it doesn't cool down, uh, so it doesn't heat up to keep it nice and cool. If it's a very hot day or you're doing it and it's taking a long time, pop in the fridge for a couple of minutes just to bring the temperature down. I added 100 grams of cheese. I added the milk in a couple of stages until it was a soft dough. I brought it together on a bench. Um, again, you can add, if your mix is a little bit wetter, you can add the flour. Then, again, I, I tend not to roll it out. I just find it, it tends to go a little bit too thin or uneven, just squishing it with your hands. Um, then cut it out using a cookie cutter or uh, any form of cutter. 
I didn't have one because I'm at home, so I just used the glass and carefully cut round. Put it onto a tray, I glaze with a little bit of milk. Again, if you've got a pastry brush, use that. Um, I, I just used a, a teaspoon to put it on, so I didn't use my fingers. Put it onto the tray, glaze it with the milk, the rest of the cheese, and straight into a preheated oven. Alright, that's it guys. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much. Bye bye.